Hello and good morning. So it is currently just gone 5 a.m. I've woken up here in beautiful Sri Lanka, Aragambe, and today it is my birthday. So naturally, I think from excitement, I woke up at like 3.30 and yeah, the, I came to the hostel late last night. They were just about to go to bed and they gave me a private room. So I've had a nice, good sleep and yeah, I'm energized for today, even though I haven't slept that much. Like, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling excited. I have a few things potentially planned. I don't know exactly which direction I'm going to go in, but one thing I know is how I'm spending my mornings. For the past kind of few years, I've made it a routine, a ritual to head to the beach, watch the sunrise, um, go and you know, spend some time in the water, spend time with myself, reflecting, you know, showing gratitude for everything that has, you know, come in the past year and welcoming everything that is going to come for the following year, for this year. So yeah, hopefully, will be blessed with a beautiful sunrise and I'd like to take you with me. It's actually pretty cool, there's some people surfing, you probably can't see them, but yeah. People are up, people are awake, it's cool, nice to, see, nice to be around people at this time in the morning. Okay, so it is definitely a good one. I can start to see some pinks coming out. There are a bunch of surfers in, it's really beautiful views. I've been definitely blessed. Yeah, very, very nice. I might get in the water myself. I might go for a surf, maybe. I kind of knocked myself up yesterday, so we'll see, but definitely getting in the water at some point. Yeah, beautiful. So I have been very, very blessed. Sri Lanka, you have a very special place in my heart. Mama Adri, last night, very beautiful. This one will definitely be remembered, you know, like I said, making the, the routine to come out every birthday, get up early, watch the sunrise. It's special for me. And I'm grateful, I'm so grateful that I'm able to live this lifestyle. And I'm thankful every day to be able to see things like this, to, to be able to live yeah, no, I'm thankful for life, I'm thankful for Sri Lanka, I'm thankful for being able to travel, being able to witness things so beautiful like this. And it's only just gone 6am, uh, the lineup is already pretty full, loads of people are out, but I'm going to jump in the water, maybe go for a surf and enjoy some fruit after that. But yeah, thank you. Okay, so I went to go in for a swim, it's actually not a safe place to swim here, there's a, a reef right, like shallow and the current is too strong. So I'm gonna head down that way to go for a walk. But I went out and there was a guy, like I could see who was in pain. So me and some other guys kind of helped him out. Got speaking to him, turns out he's, uh, he's lived in Sri Lanka for a, a long time. Really cool guy. He's uh, from Israel. Used to be the Israel surf champion. Then he moved to Australia and then life happens, like he said. But yeah, really nice guy. So I come back to my bag. And uh, so I have a bag of fruits and Yeah, I see you're guilty. <laughs> yeah, look, so the dog uh, took some of my bananas, but luckily someone was kind enough to tie a knot in the bag. So whoever that was, thank you very much. So I'm going to go head down that way and hopefully get a nice swim in. I don't know if I'm going to bother surfing. There's so many people in the lineup. Hey, he's coming back for more food. You've already had my bananas. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, what a beautiful morning. He told me actually that, like I can see a lot of people in the lineup now, but he said compared to usual, this isn't uh, this isn't really busy at all. This is the main break in Aragon Bay. Very very nice spot, nice waves. People are really really like uh, carving some nice shapes out there, carving some nice waves. Yeah, good vibes. I 
it's honestly so like I always get so blown away by when I can just experience things like this. Like I'm watching people just catch waves in a beautiful ocean. The sun is shining down. It's glistening in the water. Like it's amazing. And yeah, since I've come to Sri Lanka, I've had lots of these moments where, like, I have. I'm overwhelmed with gratitude. I'm overwhelmed with my circumstances. Like it's a true blessing to to be where I'm at. A real blessing. And. Like I know how lucky I am, and with my family being Sri Lankan, it's that it's so much more important. And when I not important but special, and when I meet people like locals that are Sri Lankan and I speak Sinhala, like I see their like face brighten up. So yeah, I'm enjoying my time here, and I wouldn't ra I'd rather I wouldn't want to spend my birthday in, in any other place. It's like I said, a real blessing. And I'm learning so much. I'm learning so much about myself, about the people here, about other other travelers. Like I'm in a real nice place. And after, you know, if you if you're not experiencing such a good time right now, like I wasn't a few weeks ago, I want you to know that like things always get better. And sometimes when you suffer, it prepares you for a catapult into a high ground. So I know it's probably not what you want to hear right now, but. It's the truth, and good times always come. Yeah. So I'm heading a little further down so I can get in to go for a swim. I really hope I can because for me, I have a very deep connection with the ocean, with the water. It's something, yeah, I feel deeply connected with. So as, soon, as any chance I get, I'm going to go in the water. Like, yeah, I love it. Um, and like I said, on my birthday, it's something I try and make a ritual of. So, I'm very blessed to be here in Jalanga. I'm very blessed to be here looking at this view, like, oh, it's amazing. So, I'm gonna jump in the water. I think I'll have to walk like a little further down until it's swimmable. And then after that, who knows what we'll do. More people surfing here. So this is a smaller break. There's like, I guess more, I think there's a surf school over there, so more kind of beginners. Yeah, nice to see people out enjoying the sun, enjoying the morning. Hey. Oh, is that nice? There's two. There's two of you now. There's two of you now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. There was one, and now there is four. <laughs> Oh. That swim was honestly incredible. There's really no better way to start any day. A lot of times, like, if I have the opportunity, I'm always going to start my day off, you know, in the ocean, grounding back to nature. I, honestly, I love it. And I was in the water, I was looking around and thinking, like, I don't think you could get bored of this, you know? Really, really, such a beautiful place. And if you know me, you know I love mango, so there's no better way to enjoy some fruit Enjoy some beautiful mango, watching the waves. Something I've started to do in Sri Lanka, I've always had like gratitude for my food. Well, at least in the past few months, like I've put more attention on it. But coming to Sri Lanka, you see how things are growing. You see fresh fruit grow off trees, and you know I, I'm interested in learning about that stuff. So I'll start to look, you know, like how does this grow? How does this grow? And so I know like mangoes, coconut. I know they grow in my uncle's house. I see them grow. You see them on the streets. And so it gives you a much deeper, uh, for me at least, I, it gives me a much deeper appreciation for when you're about to consume a food that's grown so freshly here because you realize like this has taken months to grow from a tree. The conditions had to be perfect. Everything had to be perfect for it to land in my hands right now. And if you are traveling in Sri Lanka, I mean, I guess anywhere, but get yourself, if, and, like if you like fruit, get yourself one of these. This has been a game changer for me. Um, oh. Oh, 
long, but look at that. Amazing. I know this is going to be a good bite. Mm. Uh, it's not completely right, but, but it's still very good. Mm. A little sandy, but... Mm. Oh, good that class, eh? Very tasty. Mm. I get lots of you comment on my videos about um, how I eat mango. So I've been brought up, like my family is Sri Lankan, so I've been brought up to eat, like with my hands, like in a sense, especially mango, I've always loved scraping it. But I feel like we're really starting the day off well here. A beautiful morning with some tambili. So for anyone wondering like how much, what the price is, things like that. This one is 350 rubies, which is like less than a pound. Um, like usually, so that's for a tourist price. So everyone, like everyone I've spoke to says Aragon Bay is very expensive. There's certain spots you can find, um, which are like, you know, local food, local prices. But yeah, Tambili. When I go like in uh, not to touristy places, Tambili is usually 170 rupees. But I mean, <laughs> look where we are, I can't complain. So for the, as for the seasons, this is Aragam's season. On the, on the east coast, north coast, this is the, the, the season where it's dry. So monsoon season now is on the south and west. That's where I've come from. I mean, monsoon season for me really wasn't bad. It maybe rained 40 minutes a day, something like that. But yeah, nothing bad at all. But here it is stunning. It's beautiful. Okay, so I just got back to my hostel and I jumped in the shower. Um, got out and I, like, I opened up my phone. Obviously people from back home are waking up, so I'm getting messages, things like that. I'd like to say happy birthday and my family sent me a video and they'd arrange for like all my friends, all my family to send me like a message to say happy birthday. And I was not expecting that at all. I was, <laughs> like it didn't even come into my mind. I was thinking, you know, because I'm so far away, like I don't keep in contact with everyone as much as I did when I'm home. Like maybe people won't remember things like that. But thank you very much, family, friends. Mama Yata Adri. Thank you very much. Very beautiful. Lassine. And like when I was watching, I just had the biggest smile on my face and like very heartwarming. And yeah, I love you all and I'm missing you all very much. And thank you. <laughs> How's it good? Uh, how are you? Yeah, good? Yeah. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear me because it's super loud on this road. But um, yeah, after I had food, I went, saw some local guys. I, you know, I went to their restaurant. Super nice people. And now I'm going to other friends. But yeah, this is the, this is the Aragon Bay life. It's very chill. Most of the people you see here are just going to be like, chill out. Hi. <laughs> um, yeah, big surf town. It's just a whole different vibe to the rest of Sri Lanka I've been. Very relaxed, very chilled out. Like if there's just people, you know, like on bicycles, there's a um, surfboard wrapped to the top of three wheelers, tuk-tuks. It's just completely different to anywhere else I've been. And on both sides of the road, just the only place in Sri Lanka I've seen where there's so many like variety of shops. And yeah, it's super cool. Hi! <laughs> Good, how are you? Come with that. Fine day. Where is everyone? Sleep. Sleep, they're sleeping. So I came to Aragambe in the hope that for my birthday I'd be able to find a breathwork class. I've asked people all around Sri Lanka, they don't know where to go. So this morning when I was on the beach, I actually got lost and I saw there was an uh, ice therapy um, thing being advertised. So I went to it, spoke to the guy, and they told me. It's ice therapy, sound healing, and breath work. So I kind of hit the jackpot. There's three things that I'd like, I love. So yeah, I've hit the jackpot there. And I was just eating food at the, the local, hi, hi, how's, how's it going? <laughs> um, yeah, so I just met a guy called Patrick, who's also like vlogging. He's the first guy I've seen in Sri Lanka doing it. So shout out Patrick. It's actually pretty cool to see. I come here in the morning, the lineup is full. 
The camera in the evening is just as full. <laughs> it's a nice vibe, nice to see. Okay, it looks like we have made it. So this is where I got lost earlier because I came in the dark, right? So I didn't know where I was going, but here it is. Super nice place. Okay, just finished ice bath, breath work, and uh, sound healing. For my birthday, that was that's a special thing to experience it with other people. It's the first time I've done breath work in like a, you know, a class. The instructor, the people there, are really nice people. And yeah, I'd recommend that if you're in uh, Aragon Bay, it's the only place I've seen it in all of Sri Lanka. So 100%, I'd recommend that. And yeah, it's nice. It's nice to be in the cold again. I miss that from home definitely. Yeah, it's night now, and obviously. <laughs> I'm a little bit cold from the bath, but all good. So again, I just got back to the hostel and I'm going to go grab a bite to eat. Then I'm going to go meet some friends for a bonfire and I'm going to grab some fireworks. And the birthday right, you know, has to be done. Hello, how's it going? I'm currently in Jaffna and I realised I didn't film an outro for that video. Uh, so I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you to everyone who made it so amazingly special. To all the family and friends that I made there, to just the whole experience. I'm so, so grateful for it. It was honestly one of the best times of my life. And Aragon Bay has a special place in my heart. Really, it was a, an amazing experience. And thank you to all the friends and family I made. Um, from back home also, because you also made it a special one. I'll catch you in the next video. Have a great evening.